Hello everyone, it's Xander here from Xander's Bricks. Today is the grand opening of Bricks and Minifigs Schaumburg, and today we're going to have an absolutely bricktastic day because in Schaumburg there are two other Lego stores, including a Lego brand store and a Legoland Discovery Center, which means we have three Lego stops in Schaumburg alone. But today I'm going to be setting myself on a challenge to hit five Lego branded stores in one day. Two Bricks and Minifigs, two Lego stores, and one Legoland Discovery Center. So we've got a ton of stops today, but let's get ready for this vlog and get started. So today we're gonna be rocking the Xander's Bricks t-shirt. I could be like super pick me and wear the Xander's Bricks sweatshirt and the Xander's Bricks hat, but I think that's a little too much and I think I have a better idea in mind. Instead, we're gonna rock this brick chest hoodie. I'm a big fan of the color and it's super comfy, so we'll wear that. And the brick chest space hat. We've got a Lego themed fit going on here and I am super stoked. So without further ado, it's time to get a move on and get ready to head out to Schaumburg. Okay, we've got, you know, our waters. We got all of our clothing on. Uh, we've got some money and uh, a fun person to come along with me. No, but we do have pretty much everything else. So. I am ready for this solo journey to try and have the most bricktastic day and hopefully not go into debt while doing it. This first stop will be Bricks and Minifig Schaumburg, so let's get a move on. We are about 25 minutes early and there is already a line. I'm starting to think this is going to be a lot bigger than I once realized. I'm going to try and get a video, but of course, I kind of feel awkward filming in public. But we're going to try our best here, guys. We're going to try our best. We have made it to Bricks and Minifigs Schaumburg, so let's get a move on. All right, so we just made it out of Bricks and Minifigs Schaumburg for their grand opening again. Congratulations to them on opening this one. I heard they're opening three more stores today alone, so that's absolutely insane. Now, I was in there for probably 10, 15 minutes. There's still probably 50 or so people in line to get in, which is absurd. There had to have been at least close to 100 people coming to this store. Now, of course, I did pick up some goodies. Um, I'll show you guys probably at the end what I get because I'm hoping to get stuff from pretty much everywhere. But now we are headed off to either Legoland Discovery Center or the Lego store. So I don't know which one, but both of them are close by. So let's go check it out. And in case I've never publicly mentioned it, I absolutely despise this mall. But hey, for the Lego store, right? Lego has been secure. Two stops down. The next one is the closest out of all of them. I think it's literally like a two minute drive. So we're going to Legoland Discovery Center. So let's get a move on. All right, so I didn't buy anything there. Their stock was pretty god awful, and their pick a brick wall was even worse than the Lego store, which the Lego store one wasn't great. Now, the next stop we're gonna make is to another Lego store all the way in Gurney. So it's gonna be, I wanna say, about an hour or so drive. So I've got quite a bit of a drive ahead of me, but uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it for Lego, man, because I got a problem. I, I'm like addicted or something. But you know, it could be worse. It could be something way worse, right? At least it's just plastic. At least that's what I keep telling myself. One thing I love about my Lego store is that they have a ton of sets on sale, like a bunch of those damaged ones or, or damaged, I should say. Some of them don't even look damaged. Um, so I did pick up something. It's uh, the biggest bag yet of today and hopefully going to remain the biggest one. And I'm hoping not to spend much more today but we do have one more stop to go. Four out of five are done. The final one is our last Bricks and Minifigs in Kenosha. So I'm gonna take a drive over there and I will be right back. We have made it to the final destination on our five Lego selling store trip. The final one being Bricks and Minifig Kenosha. And I am super excited because theirs is not a new one. It's been around for a little while, so they've got quite a bit of stock. So let's go check it out.
five hours later. Okay, so I just spent over an hour in this bricks and minifigs, like over an hour. This is my bag here. Um, I didn't even spend over a hundred bucks and I spent over an hour. I'm really excited to show you everything that I picked up today. We got stuff from the Lego store in Gurney, the Lego store in Schaumburg, the bricks and minifigs Schaumburg and the bricks and minifigs uh, Kenosha. The only store we didn't pick up stuff from today was Legoland Discovery Center. So I've got a lot to show you. I'm gonna drive home. It's gonna take me a little while, but I will be right back for you guys. I have made it back safely with all four bags out of the five stores we went to. So it's finally time to actually take a look at what the hell Xander spent his money on this time. So our first stop was Bricks and Minifig Schaumburg, and that is also one of our smallest bags from the trip. Of course, it's a brand new store, so they didn't have a ton, but of course, if you know me, you know I always find something to buy. So first up, we picked up this brickhead here, still sealed the Donald Duck one for $15, as you see. I thought it was a pretty good deal, pretty close to its retail price, and I did really want this. So I will be cracking the seal on this one, but very excited to pick up the Donald Duck brickhead. And we also picked up a uh, torso, of course, for the grand opening. This is the Bricks and Minifigs Schaumburg torso. And I picked up two minifigures, including Calendar Man and this Clock Man from the Lego Batman movie. So very excited to add these into my display case. And I think they were pretty good buys for the price that they were at. Now, the next store was actually, besides, I mean, Lego Land Discovery Center. This was the most disappointing of the trips. It was to the first Lego store in um, Schaumburg. And I was hoping to get the Stitch Brickhead, but that seems to be as rare as the Holy Grail. So I picked up a different Brickhead, and I picked up the Spider-Man one. So here it is. Uh, very excited to build this one. It's not on the top priority. From so as I was saying, picked up the Iron Spider. Not my favorite of the Brickheads that they've released recently, but I am still very excited to build that. Then we went to Legoland Discovery Center, which we bought nothing, like I'd mentioned before. But then we drove all the way to Gurney for the largest of the bags, but still not much in it. Uh, we purchased this cozy house set. It was 20% off. I think I want to convert this into some sort of modular at some point, but for now, we're just going to keep it in box. I think I'll probably build it on live stream sometime, but yeah, so we picked that up. I think it was a pretty good deal for being 20% off. There were some other great ones, but, uh, I decided to stick with that one. Now, the final store was Bricks and Minifigs Kenosha, and I always love Bricks and Minifigs Kenosha. I picked up a ton of stuff, and like I said, about 50 bucks worth of stuff. Uh, so first off, we picked up this Animal Crossing poly bag, which was a gift with purchase, and it's obviously not now. They have it at some Targets, and now Bricks and Minifigs as well is selling it, so I had to pick it up. I'm not a huge Animal Crossing fan, but I am excited to build this one. The uh, character is really adorable. Uh, so I'm excited for that. We also picked up quite a few pieces, including some palm leaves, of course, for my palm trees. A couple more of them. And then I also picked up two bushes. Now, this doesn't seem like a lot, but this is really big for me because they don't sell these on Lego's website. And finding them on uh, BrickLink for a good deal with other pieces is never really that great. So these are actually used also for my palm trees. So we got those. They're a little pricey, a um, little pricier than I would have liked to pay. But hey, I got it. So also picked up a rock piece, which I'm going to need for some future projects. Then I also picked up this Caveman Batman. We were doing a Lego Batman sort of theme, it seems like, with the minifigs. Um, Caveman Batman, which again, will go into the case. Didn't have this one. I've wanted it for a little while now. This was a little impulse buy. This charger, it was already built. It was like 15 bucks for it. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I didn't really want it, but like, I like it enough to have it. And I think it'll look good in the city. Uh, I have some other of the six wide Speed Champion sets as well. So this will look good. Perhaps the minifigure will actually end up inside of it though. And the final and thing that spent me the most time was looking through their bulk for an $8 container of bulk. Now this doesn't seem like a lot, but this is a ton for me. These are going to complete a ton of projects that I've wanted to finish for a long time now, or at least get them even closer than before. There's also some really small pieces in there, uh, some printed pieces, some flower pieces, things like that. But yeah, this is going to get me a step closer to completing a lot of things for the city. So I'm very excited to show you guys at some point those projects. But yeah, this is what we picked up. Like I said, uh, this was five stores one day. And I want to say it was 
around 150 maybe less spent i mean besides on gas that i'm gonna have to buy now but uh i would say about 150 spent on lego i think it was a pretty good deal altogether i want to say it was closer to more 120 um but yeah what do you guys think? Did I score? Did I hit and miss or something? Like, you know, let me know, of course. But now I can officially say, and I doubt many other people can, that I visited five Lego selling stores that don't include Walmarts and Targets in one day. Uh, and if you've ever done that, you let me know in the comments, but I have a feeling most of you haven't. Maybe someday I'll be able to do six. I know there's other Lego selling stores in the area. I just didn't really feel like hitting up today, including things like Brick Arms. There's another Lego store in the area. So who knows? Maybe someday I'll be able to tackle six, seven, eight stores in one day. But we will, of course, save that for another day. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. What are you most excited to see me build out of all of this? And what is your dream set? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave a like. Consider subscribing if you want more content like this. I love making it so much. So I would appreciate your feedback very much. And I will catch you guys in the next one.